Welcome to High Voltage. This video looks at some of the key features of the Cottonmouth e-bike. The Cottonmouth is being made by North Bay Bikes in California and is the culmination of a great deal of blood, sweat and tears. What I want to hit on in this video is the variable regen braking as well as the advantages of having a dual drive train compared to pretty much every other mid-drive e-bike which has everything on the right hand side. On this bike I have a twist throttle on the right hand side which works as you would expect. On the left side though I have another twist throttle except this one rolls forwards. So just as the modulation of the right throttle adjusts speed and acceleration, twisting the left throttle forward varies the amount of regen braking strength. You can see this in the video that's playing right now. If you look at the watts figure, notice that it's negative. This is because the motor is generating power and sending it to the battery, and this effort has the effect of slowing down the bike. There are several advantages to this. It gives you an extra brake that after you get used to it is pretty intuitive to use. It saves your brake pads and discs from wear, and it also extends your potential range. I don't think for most people it's going to be a game-changing difference. It won't double your range, but it's also not a waste of time like a lot of people claim with regen on bikes. To prove my point, I took the bike to a trail so you can see how much can be gained, especially if you live in a hilly area like I do. Before this ride, I charged the bike to 83 volts. I rode up a few hills to get to this point in the ride, so at the start of this hill, the battery was about 81.6 volts. I'll speed it up a bit to get down. We're now down at the bottom of the hill and we've gained almost a volt in the process. We'll go back up the hill now and we'll have another run down and you can see the other key feature for me with this bike. I am currently riding up 10% grades and I'm using pedal assist. The motor is delivering a steady 750 watts of power on the left side. I'm pedaling with a comfortable cadence on the right side. The motor's not being bogged down and stressed out to achieve this either. I can do this with any level of power. If the restriction for the trail was 250 watts, I could lower it to that level and do the same thing. I have an 11 to 48T cassette that will cover any ratio that I might need. I can then also, with the same bike, have up to 6 kilowatts of power on tap. I don't have to change anything to do this, it's just there. I'm not overstressing the pulls on a rear hub. The motor drive is fully independent from the pedal drive. I could even get home on this if the battery ran out without too much trouble. Anyway, I went all the way up to the top and I ran down it again on the regen. And you can see at the top here the battery is sat at 81.3. And it's not the fastest run down to the bottom, but this is also a multi-use trail, so it's not prudent to ride like a lunatic. By the time you get to the bottom here, you can see it's almost back up now to 83 volts. Uh, I pretty much started the ride with. I can literally do this all day and the battery will not run out in this particular scenario. If you were to use a bike like this just as a pedal assist bike in an area with lots of hills like this and essentially use 750 watts to get up a hill and then cruise down on the regen, your range would potentially be huge. It wouldn't be the fastest ride you were doing but you could go a heck of a long way. I think the regen for a battery life has less use with flatter areas because you're tending to use it more for just braking to stop, but it's still going to add something on. For the next bit of this ride, uh, I go home and I'm heading with traffic with full power on tap. So you can see that now, and I'm going to sign off here. Uh, at the end of this ride, the battery was 81 volts. And using the very same battery here and doing the same kind of riding with the BBS HD, I'd have been lucky to see 78 volts when I got home. So Doing what I've done has, has definitely added range. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the riding footage and I'll do my best to answer questions on the comments or on Discord. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.